Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this true doctrine across the four winds of the earth and all truth and necessary. I'm Lamad Ariyad from the Mississippi camp. Lord willing, this will be an edifying lesson. And this lesson, man, it's, it's really just going into how, man, a lot of our people are going to be destroyed, man. And, and a lot of those people are going to consist of our family, you know, friends, you know, brothers, sisters, our children, sons, daughters, you know, wives, stepkids, you know, whatever, man. Because, you know, hey, being in this truth, man, you know, the scripture goes into how, you know, eat the whole roll. And, you know, it was sweet at first. It then became bitter. Because, you know, when you come in this truth, and brothers know this, this, this is like a, a broken record. You know, this is something that was taught and explained to us through the spirit of our apostles that was on down. That, you know, when you come into this truth, man, and you start getting understanding, you, you want everybody to know. You want to tell, you know, your, your friends, your family, you know, things that are going on. But, you know, it's not always in the best interest just to put it out there, you know, to just individuals at any given moment. You know, that's that's why we do the video. That's why we go on the highways and byways to make our bodies a little sacrifice, you know. And and it happens sometimes when you're just talking to family members or friends or just individuals. The spirit get on you, you know, you speak, but at the same time, the spirit goes into not to cast your pearls uh, to the to monk swine. So you got to be mindful of who you're talking to and all those things. But with that being said, you know, when we come in this truth and, and after so long, you become spiritually educated because the Lord dealing with you, your, 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 your spiritual mindset, your, 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 it's being elevated because you're becoming uh, knowledgeable of the scriptures, your become your spirit is being uh, 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 brought closer to your how by Shimei I was shy. So when we tell people things, it's not like we just you know speaking or saying things that are just just because we want to. You know, we we speak and say these things through the spirit because we know what we're talking about because the Lord has given us an increase has gave us understanding of these scriptures, man. But it, our people don't listen, man. And especially when it comes to your family members and your children, man. And, and, and you, 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 you do what you can. You pray for your family. You know, you pray for your children so on and so forth but they act like you're just their their dad or or their brother or sister they act like you're just a regular individual and and there's no no uh, uh serious consideration that you're a man of the lord man and what you're doing is because you're doing it because the lord had actually called uh you to do it called us to do this work so therefore, when we speak to them, a lot of times they they don't take it serious. They they don't they don't take it serious at all. It's just someone that they know telling them something, and apparently we don't know what we're talking about, man. But that's why the Lord is going to destroy so many people in the, amongst the nation of Israel, even within brothers' families, man. And, and, and even in my family. Because, you know, they my, my kids don't listen, man. You know, tell them don't get the jump shot. Don't get the jab. Go through the scriptures and explain why. Means nothing. Still do it. So, fuck it. 
You know, we hey, we we do what we gotta do through the spirit, man. Like I say, we talk to him, we speak to him, we we bring our scriptures to him to try to enlighten them and give them the understanding of why they should or shouldn't do a particular thing. But if they still want to take it upon themselves and listen to Esau and, and do it, to hell with them, man. You know, it's up to the Lord if they're gonna be delivered, if He's gonna have mercy upon them, man. We just gotta keep doing what we doing. So I'm going to get a couple of scriptures here and I'm going to close it out. This ain't going to be long at all. God damn. This is the book of Mark, chapter 6, starting verse 6. And he, we, and he went out from thence and came into his country and his disciples followed him. And when the Sabbath day it was come, he began to teach in the synagogue and many hearing him were astonished saying, From whence have this man these things? And what wisdom is which he which is given unto him that even such mighty works are wrought by his hands. So basically, you know, they couldn't believe that Yahweh Shai knew what he was talking about when he was uh, uh, breaking down scriptures, man, teaching in the synagogue. They couldn't believe it because he was a young man. He had been to their schools and all this garbage, but he was more knowledgeable of the scriptures than they could ever be. Right. Verse three. Is this is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph and Joseph and of Judah and of Simeon, Simon and are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him because, hey, just like our families, man, who, who is he? Who he supposed to be? Oh, um, he, he, he worked at a warehouse. He, he's, he's a barber. He's a car salesman. You know, he, he's a, 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 a nurse. You know, he, he's a garbage man. He's a carpenter. Who, who the hell is the guy? Isn't, he grew up right down the street from us in the country, in the hood. Who the hell is he supposed to be? And that's how they look at us, man. So therefore, they don't consider the things we say. Because we're look at, looked at as commoners. Well, we're far from commoners. Okay? We're, we're spiritual men who has been called by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh to preach this gospel. To warn the people. To proclaim the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh To proclaim the downfall and destruction of America. You know, but that's not, that's not how people perceive us. They look at us just the guy they know from down the street or the guy they work with or a, a, a mama or, 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 you know, that's that's mama's son or that's that's uh, my daddy or my brother. Or some shit, you know, just not being spiritual or hearkening at all. But Yahweh Shai said unto them, a prophet is not without honor, but in his own country. And amongst his own kin and in his own house. And, 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 and that's plain as day. Our people don't give us the respect they give these Edomites, man, or these church, these so-called preachers of these churches. You know, whatever they say, our people break their necks trying to do it. You know, complex, uh, uh, collection play go around the church a hundred times. People putting everything they can in there, then their lights get cut off. And, and preachers ain't have said anything to get them closer to salvation. Esau been having his foot in Jake's neck for, for, for decades, man. Constantly keeping Jake at a lower state. But he said, go get a jump shot, go get the jab. You know, Jake running to the uh, uh to the free throw line to take a shot. Shit is crazy, man. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because we 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 be trying to warn our people, man, to tell them the things that are gonna happen, the things that are gonna come to pass. Preaching and teaching prophecy. Blowing the trumpet, sounding the trumpet, warning the people. Telling people to repent. 
for the kingdom of his heaven is at hand. That the, uh, the Lord have his hand still stretched forth. There's time of repentance. Uh, the window uh, of uh, uh, the window of uh, repentance is still open. The door of, mercy, door of mercy is still open. You know, don't take the uh, uh, the jab. Don't go to the line trying to take the jump shot. Believe in Yahweh Bashimi Abishai. Have faith. Change your diet. Exercise. But no, we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. They they want to go and do what the 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 the, the that damn uh, uh, poke chop preachers say or whatever Esau telling them on the news media. No research, no consideration of the prophets, just 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 sheeple in line of, for the slaughter. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest unto me. So all you people who reject and don't want to hearken, don't want to listen to the prophets, who don't want to acknowledge uh, our brothers as being prophets out on the highways and byways, you know, diligently in season, out of season, teaching this word. If you if you just want to continue to believe that these are just some average ordinary men, that we're just out there for the hell of it because it's just you know something to do, you keep believing it. You keep believing it, okay? I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest unto priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children. So the Lord is going to be like to hell with y'all people, man. And the scripture goes into when when your cal calamity come, man, He's going to laugh at you, man. And He's going to tell you, you know, what I'm saying, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I have not known thee. Because you're rejecting the prophets, man. You're rejecting Yahweh Hashem Yahshua because the words we speak are the words of the Lord. We're ambassadors. We're, we're messengers, man. The Lord speaks speak through his men. But see, that's what people don't understand. That's what they don't get. They think we're just out there preaching our own words, saying what we want to say. But these are spiritual uh, uh, messages, man, coming from on high through his men. Okay? It's, it's, it's not... Just us, the men you see out there. This is a spiritual thing happening, man. The Lord is using men to push his word before that great and uh, dreadful day. But that's all right. You keep thinking it. Keep on thinking it. Thinking that we're just regular men. That we're just out there all just for the hell of it. That this is just... Just a, a, a fad, man. This is just a, 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 a hobby. Just something to do. You keep on believing that shit. You know? Keep on believing it. This is the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 33. And I'll start at... I'm just starting at verse 32. And lo, thou art unto them... As a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on the instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. Right, because some people act like they're infatuated. You know, brothers going to how you know people are always giving comments like, I like the way you speak, or like how they sound, but they're not this it's not it's not registering, you know. Brothers ain't out there trying to get no brownie points from you jakes, man. Brothers are out there doing the work you have by Shimmy Shah, trying to get you jakes to repent. Do the work. Be helpers. Turn away from this world. Turn away from your heathenistic ways, man. Follow the way you have by Shimmy Shah to the best of your ability. Have faith. Stop believing in the words of this devil. Stop believing and trusting in your enemy, man. And turn to Yahweh Bashimi Abishai. But y'all don't want to hear that. Because you trust in oppression. You trust in your enemy. And, and, and the Lord is not dealing with you, man. That's the bottom line. You're, you're, you're here to be condemned. 
So your judgment would be 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 justified. Like I say, this is gonna be some of our our family, man. Whether it's your mama, daddy, brother, sister, son, daughter, niece, nephew, whatever, wife, girlfriend, you name it. If the Lord don't see fit to have mercy on those particular people, even though they're close to us, it don't fucking matter, man. He's gonna off their ass because of their hard headed and stiff neck, man. And they're murmuring and they're they're scoffing on the low. And ultimately that he's gonna make believers out of them. Okay? Whether it's that turning point or making believers out of them before they're put to death. But they'll come back through the loins of the Lord's elect in the kingdom of heaven and be in a shameful state for a while. But it's going to be understood. Back in the scripture. Ezekiel 33 verse 33. And when this come to pass, lo, it will come. They shall know. Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. So they're going to know, you know, it's going to come a time when it's going to be undeniable. And these people. These same people who don't want to listen, family members, those who passing by the camps don't want to listen. Those who going in after our uh, brothers coming boys on the videos don't want to listen, don't want to hearken, don't want to change, don't want to have faith, want to continue to trust in this devil. Have at it. But it's going to come a time you're going to know a prophet was amongst you, man. And you're marking yourself a devil. So, hey, this was just a quick mess. Uh, so, like, this was a, just a quick lesson through the spirit. You know, kind of maybe kind of all over the place if I was to so lock you. But the spirit just got on me, man, because, you know, fuck, fuck them, man, fuck them. You know, hey, it's between them and the Lord, man. We doing what we got to do to receive salvation, man. So, Lord willing, it's edifying lesson. I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone at Root Well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.